And the feature match is 125, the NCAA champion, Spencer Lee, going up against the All-American, Sean Russell. Good test for Lee, coming off his uh, first loss of the year at the Midlands. Hasn't wrestled for a couple of weeks. Going up against Sean Russell, the transfer from Edinburgh. There's Spencer Lee, the NCAA champion, is a true freshman last year in the Iowa Hawkeyes lineup. Sean Russell wrestled for Edinburgh, was an All-American a couple of years ago. Transferred to Minnesota this year and has been a tremendous fit. A leader on the team already, and he's pretty new to the program, but he's certainly fitting at 125 with Minnesota shooting everybody up a weight class, and we're going to see him all in the next four matches. Yeah, he, lo he looks like he belongs in the program. Pretty solid wrestler. Careful. Careful. You know, this was the time of year last year when they brought Lee out of redshirt. You know, really convinced that they had the right guy, that he was prepared to win a national championship, and they are absolutely correct. And uh, the coach, talking about Tom and Terry Brands, Iowa coaching staff. You know, he got beat by Ronnie Bresser in the Midlands championship in a very close match. And then this year, you know, had the tough uh, match against Sebastian Rivera. Kind of surprised a lot of, a lot of people that, uh, uh, you know, how... Not surprising that it was a close match, but the, the fact that, that Rivera was able to, to win the way he won. Russell in on a shot. And if kind he can score, it'll be shot a... there. He's got to keep weight on his leg. And that's, oh, there's trouble. Cut the corner there by Lee, and he collects the two points. Two points, Spencer Lee, who beat Sean Russell two Midlands ago, 15-0. Yes. And so we'll see what kind of... How Sean Russell can close the gap, but one thing you got to do, Jim, is weather the storm in the first period with well, Spencer Lee. From the top position, he's already been called for stalling, but you know what? That's a better trade-off than giving a four-point move. So Lee's been known to jump out with this early takedown and be able to go ahead and, and, and load you up onto a hip. He does this as well as anybody in the country. Actually, well, he hit a high bridge off of that side tilt. All right. Once he loads people up, he's going to have a fantastic international career as a result of that. He's already had one to this point. Notice how uh, Russell is putting his arms out. He's trying to not give his wrist to Spencer, right? Yeah. Try, I mean, because you give your wrist to Spencer and it's over. Well, I've, I've said this before about Spencer Lee. He's like wrestling an old coach. You know, he knows all the tricks and it's like wrestling that guy who's smart. You know, you know the old coach has That's got 30, what I did. 30 pounds <laughs> on a <the> guy. <laughs> He's got 30 pounds on you, and he knows all the tricks. And so he, that's what he makes you feel after about three minutes on top, and he just loads you up and scores the points. Oh, I'm laughing at that, Jim, <laughs> because I just think about the inside wrist. I don't care who it was. Yeah. You get in there, and uh, you know all the little tricks. Yeah, how to knock them down, how to pinch the legs, how to, you know, Lee's got all that, right? So he... We talk about uh, weather in the storm. That's what Sean Russell has to do because... Spencer Lee has probably scored more first period points than any wrestler in the nation. And right now, two points doesn't look too bad for Russell. Yeah. But this is the position that he's got to improve on. And a lot of guys are struggling with this deep, tight waist. I mean, all across the country, this deep, tight waist right here. And when you're on your belly, you see now when Russell got up, Spencer automatically made it tighter. And what I think that you have to start considering doing there is you have to look in to the man with the, against that tight waist. You have to look into it and almost treat it like a, a, you're rolling a guy. I've said this before, but if you have a old coach trying to treat you a side roll against these tight waists, you better start listening to it, you young guys out there. You can side roll a guy right here, at least to create a better rolling or competitive situation. Well, step one for success, weathering the storm, success for Sean Russell. Let's go to Shane. He's with Gable Stevenson. Gable against Corbin there, he was able to slow you down a little bit. Your assessment on that match? Uh, he didn't slow me down. I slowed myself down. I said I got a better warm-up earlier. Coaches told me, and that's all. How disappointed were you that you didn't get to Russell Stoll? Very disappointed. He should have came. He should have wrestled. But it's Iowa's decision. I can't change that. What has you most excited about these next two months? Winning the national tournament. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Gable. Yeah, thank you for talking. I love yeah. the accountability there, Tim. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, the coaches told him he should have warmed up better, a different warm-up. That's the things you learn in your first year, out, like you said, in a new environment. Actually, yeah, it's just... One, two, three. He's wrestled in some big environments over his career so far, but it's just different, you know, with the your, your rival, these college dual meets. Audience. 
I don't care how many world championships you're wrestling. There's not uh, places like you know Minnesota, Iowa, and the college thing. Yeah, you can you wrestle know, in a different. world championship, but you might not have 5,200 people there. Sold out here at Maturi Pavilion today. Great crowd trying to get the Gophers back in it. And right now, a tough match by Sean Russell would, would fit the bill. Gives up the escape to Spencer Lee. Lee out front, 3-0. Lee, the NCAA champion as a true freshman last year. Just got beat by Rivera from Northwestern, the number two ranked guy at the time who's they switched places right now. And uh, this is a tough test for Spencer Lee, Sean Russell for the Gophers. And we haven't seen Lee get on you know, his offense yet. And I think that's one of the things that uh, Nice little drag there. It looked, looked like Russell's kind of feeling it right now. He was the one to be able to get to the leg in the beginning. There's the shot there. Nice job by Lee. Look how, look at the athlete he is there, spreading himself out like that. This is almost impossible to go ahead and score on. And now when you drop to a leg, it really makes it even more difficult. Incredible splits there. How do you how do you change that now? When you, when you went low on the leg below the knee, you've given... Lee, an opportunity to cut the corner. Great shot by Russell. Great response by Lee. Lee's mom was an alternate on the Olympic judo team. His dad was a national judo coach. Well, I, I'm not so sure they were gymnasts, too. Yeah. Spencer Lee out of Murraysville, you, Pennsylvania, you one of four Pennsylvania preps in the Iowa lineup today. You could have talked me into the fact that they're gymnasts here. We'll take a look at the immediately Spencer drops into this and he turns, right, actually gives the position and totally splits out. All right, you Minnesota Twins fans remember Harmon Killebrew, all right? Yeah, he, he could stretch from the first base. <laughs> he did it in the All Star game and didn't probably play for two months. But. I didn't think Harmon Krillabrew was going to make his way onto today's broadcast. That wasn't part of the preparation. Well, you know, <laughs> I know exactly who you're talking about. And yeah. So, nice work there by Lee coming into his shot, right? The coaching of Zach Sanders showing up here, making Sean Russell just right. more strategic and tougher. It's why he came here to Minnesota, that, that yeah. room with a guy like Zach Sanders. Yeah, Zach is out there right there next to Brandon Egham, urging his little lightweight on right there. Zach was a good fourth period guy. A lot of high scoring matches in his career. And that constant pressure, right? He's able to get the stall warning on Lee. Again, in, in some ways, oh, you could sit there and say that Russell's been pretty aggressive, worked to improve his ties, and Lee's been very measured. That stall warning was on Spencer Lee. Yeah, a nice job there. So you notice how he, he shuffled one direction, then came with the club collar tie. That's a good way to get out of that pushing situation. Beautiful yes. shot right there. One more time, the power of Lee shows up. The shots of Russell have met the power of Lee. So far, Lee winning the battle 3-0 with 31 seconds left in the third period. The crowd egging yeah. Russell on. But, but, you know, Spencer looks really fresh, I think, too. I mean, he's cut the corner now. One more shot. I think one more shot, he probably makes a pretty good impression on the official. Uh, And the crowd not wanting time. another stalling call, but they're not going to get it. And the NCAA champion is going to win 3-0. Yeah, Good look at Spencer Lee coming back from the Midlands second place. Yeah, I, th I think he I, know, I think he looks really good. I mean, physically, that, there's nothing. He had a great freshman year. The NCAA champion, Spencer Lee, and he just put the Hawkeyes out in front 18-7.